Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today let's ask the question, how rampant is ad fraud? All right, so today I want to talk a bit about ad fraud or advertising fraud. Now we talk a lot on this channel about ad mob suspensions and the quirks of making revenue through serving ads in your applications. And I get a lot of emails from people and people post in the comments saying, Eric, my ad mob account was suspended. What do I do? Right? And if you've been serving ads for any amount of time in your application, you may have had an email that says, AdMob is temporarily suspended ads in your application and you have to go through and change something or appeal the decision or whatever. I've had this happen several times and sometimes it's been suspended and it just seems unjust. And the reason for this is because there's an algorithm at play. Like I'm sure that they shut things down before investigating. I'm sure that the algorithm, if it sees anything irregular, it will shut down the application and it's up to you to go through and justify, you know, or to redo it, appeal the decision, get them to take a closer look at it, right? And it seems unfair to developers. And a lot of developers will say this, it's unfair, Google's so unfair, they'll shut you down for any reason. But when you look at how rampant ad fraud is, it gets scary. You start to understand why that's the case, right? And we've heard about ad, mob, sorry, ad fraud before, right? You hear about these click farms where they'll just go through and serve ads and have these automatic clicks going through until they get shut down or caught, or maybe they never get caught and we just never hear about it. And I get emails a lot from people. I get emails and comments from people saying, Eric, if I were to serve ads, if I was to use a VPN and do fake clicks in my ads, would anybody be able to catch me? And I'm like, Dude, what are you asking me for? Why would I help you theoretically screw over a bunch of people and damage the industry that pays me money every month? But ad fraud is there and people seem to think that they can game the system, right? Now, I was uh, Neil on our team sent me this article from BuzzFeed last month. In fact, BuzzFeed has a lot of articles about ad fraud and occurrences of it in the past, but this was an interesting one from uh, March 20th and it's called, this giant ad fraud scheme drained users' batteries and data by running hidden video ads in Android apps. And basically it tells a story of a developer named Julian who had an app with banner ads in it. And his users were complaining that the battery was being drained in the application. So, and he was like, well, maybe, you know, whatever it is, like if somebody complained to you, it could be anything else on their phone. But when he investigated further, he saw, found that they were using a lot more data than he intended through the ads. And doing a bit of investigation, he found that he, while he was serving banner ads, the, underneath the banner ads were a bunch of video ads. And this is like a common thing where they're showing video ads underneath the banner ads. So, uh, so it was going there. And what he was using was uh, Twitter's MoPub. And there's this really good diagram here of, of how it works. So, uh, so, he, so the developer is serving a banner ad. By the way, the developer in this is not doing anything wrong. The developer is using MoPub, he's serving ads, He's doing what he's supposed to do. But a scrupulous developer or the advertising agency is putting underneath that banner ad, they're showing like a whole bunch of different video ads. So the advertiser has to pay for all those video ad views because they're registering as views. And while the, while the fraudster is making a $9 profit on a $10 sell, uh, the developer makes the $1. The developer's not doing anything wrong. The users are getting a bad experience because the battery life is being drained, but more importantly, the advertisers are losing money because they're not making any revenue from what they're paying into advertising, making the ad, making advertising less effective for them. So in the end, they're going to stop paying money into it, right? And of course, it, and it talks about uh, one, the ad uh, company here called Anaview who claims to have done nothing wrong, but it's kind of seems like from reading it that they were the corporate, the, the culprit here. Right, and it was going through and, and doing that. It's a really good article. I'll put it in the comments so you can have a look at it, but uh, it's definitely something to, something to look at. Now, this is one of the strange things about using ads in our applications or on our websites is that we as developers share in the profits for that. So a lot of the times if a developer gets in trouble for ad fraud, it's because of that model. Like if, if a, when I read all this kind of stuff, I think, 
if a friend of mine who owned a company was coming to me for advice on advertising, I may say go with Facebook because at least if you pay to Facebook, they don't have an incentive to go through and do a bunch of fake clicking. I mean, they kind of do, but they're Facebook. Like they would, they would damage their reputation. Whereas if it was through an ad mob, it's actually going through a developer and the developer may or may not have a reputation. Now in the past, I always told people, if you're gonna do ads, do it through ad mob because ad mob would be ideal because you could do really low uh, cost per click type things. You can go with like one or two cents or start really low because there's so many placements out there. You can start with a very low budget and have things go through. But then I read, I read these kind of things. Uh, although this is ad of you, not ad mob. But I hear people talk about the different click farms and stuff like that. And I do worry about it ruining the industry in the future. Like in the, in the end, advertisers may decide that it's not worth going through that and then we all suffer in the end, right? Um, so when I read this article, this is one of the reasons why I don't like using any ad networks that I've never heard of. I always just use AdMob. Occasionally I'll use AppLovin' uh, or Facebook Audience Network, but I stick to those even though, I mean, they can still go through fraud, but AdMob's the one that pays me, so I usually stick with them. Uh, but uh, you know, it's a scary proposition. It's scary to think that as a developer, you could be doing nothing wrong and then your users are getting a really bad experience, advertisers are getting a bad experience, and eventually it could come back and get you, I suppose. So let me know what you guys think. First of all, every time I talk about ad fraud, there's always somebody out there who has a better story than I do. So you may have heard of other things. You may have witnessed other ad, ad fraud occurrences. So if you... If you would like to, please put it in the comments to, to share your experience, some, some of the things that I know it's, it's really bad out there. And every time I read articles like this, I think maybe it's worse than I thought. Maybe ad fraud is even, is a worse thing because it's, I mean, I can understand as a developer, you're, you're looking at that thinking, how could I game this system? I'm, that uses code, I do code, how could I do that? But in the end, I mean, it never works, does it? I mean. Um, anyway, let me know what you guys' thoughts on this. I don't mean to be all Pollyanna and uh, everything on it, but I just think it's, I think it's terrible. Uh, and I'll put this article on there, really good article. And that's it for this time. I will talk to you guys again next time.